so I'm coming to you outside <laughs> in the fresh air in Poi An and I wanted to just offer quick words of solace because it really I think for a lot of people has been painful to watch the violent um, attempted coup in the United States the mobbing of the United States Capitol during the uh, joint uh, sessions of Congress yesterday and it I know there are many ways to interpret and I've even am aware that there are people who want to somehow say that it was staged by Antifa or something like that but I think it's quite clear that what we're actually seeing is the uncloaking of the Emperor's new robes that white supremacy we told you we warned you that this is who Trump was that elitism we told you we warned you that this is who Trump was that sexism we told you we warned you that th this is who he was when he showed himself as Maya Angelou says when someone shows you who they are you should believe them the first time and so the fact that we have built up to this moment in so many ways and yet we're here we saw this we were warned that this is the kind of violence that this man stokes and yet we let it unfold as if we were watching a drama on television it pains me to say that there are going to have to be repercussions those congressmen and women those senators those republicans who stood in the joint sessions even after this violence this violent mob had trashed the Capitol. They stood in there and they held objections that were baseless and claimless. They are part of the coup. They are part of the coup. Who, who can look at the violence in 2020 against the peaceful protesters for even Jane Fonda was arrested. Even peaceful protesters at the Capitol were given gas and yet you saw people mobbing the Capitol yesterday you saw people actually going and trashing Nancy Pelosi's own office in the Capitol yesterday this is treason they intended to they intended to terrorize us we are terrorized. This is sufficiently terrorized. They have infiltrated, they have risen the Confederate flag in a place that even the Confederacy itself didn't manage to do that. Yet they did that. Donald Trump slept peacefully as that happened. And so as we look at what's going on in America, of course, utmost, foremost, we must think about peace. First and foremost, peace. We cannot have mobbing as a way of, of asserting our voices in our, our nation. And peace also means a peaceful transfer of power, and this is what we have not seen. I never imagined this is what I'd see in, 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 as an American in my own in my own nation. And I've been in those Capitol buildings. I was a congressional intern for Bernie Sanders in 1994. I've actually been in those congressional buildings that, th that those people trashed yesterday. I've visited that White House that Trump now sits in. And we put him there. We allowed this to happen. We saw this. We warned you when he was trying to get the Central Park Five lynched. We warned you when he was a slumlord. We warned you when he was sexualizing his daughter. We warned you when he stacked his cabinet with, with people like Betsy DeVos and head of education and the like we warned you when he undermined every aspect of governments in our nation and yet people stood by him just the other day I walked past a man here who told me how much he loves uh, Trump and I, I wonder how much people still love him knowing that this is what um, because people can't deny knowing this people can't unknow this now even if they didn't think about what about the American people and his corona deaths? Because I sit here very safe now where I am, luckily and proudly and with much gratitude to the place where I am. But I'm deeply concerned that this is going on in our collective world. 
300,000, over 350,000 deaths under this kind of leadership. And the, and the so-called wealthiest country in the world. This is what we were warned. We were warned.